Well, once again, everyone, it's Sunday afternoon, and I thought I'd just do a real quick uh, update for you here. Not much has changed uh, as far as the forecast goes. Since this morning, uh, it's snowing, but, you know, it's not that bad out. The snow is not super heavy, so uh, road crews are keeping up just fine, and especially on the major roads, everything's pretty much just wet. Parking lots, a different story, sidewalks, driveways, uh, side streets, less traveled thoroughfares remain a little bit slick. Here's a look outside over 680 around downtown Youngstown, and uh, as you can see, things are progressing just fine there with mostly uh, dry, uh, dry conditions, or, or damp conditions, I should say, on the roadway. Uh, here's a look over the Southern Park Mall on a busy Sunday two weeks before Christmas. Uh, I was just at a, a Giant Eagle, and the parking lot was definitely slippery, uh, but the main roads getting to and from were mostly just wet and just fine. Uh, here's a look at Storm Tracker 21 here at 123 this afternoon. We have uh, light to moderate snow around the region. Zoom out though, and uh, the radar continues to kind of fill in out across western Ohio and heading up to, into Michigan as well. And this is the area that we're going to keep a close eye on for the rest of the day. This pocket of mixed precipitation and even rain, I think this has a very good chance of getting into the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys tonight and that will put a lid on the snowfall accumulations. So this afternoon, some light snow, but watch what happens uh, past 6, 7 o'clock this evening. Still some light snow with temperatures near 30 at 6, but then later on at night, especially south of Interstate 80, we start seeing some mixed precipitation. We start seeing some rain pushing in, and uh, that uh, could spread all the way into the nor northern part of our viewing area by the end of the night tonight. So even up in northern Trumbull, northern Mercer counties, I, I think you're going to see rain before the night is through. And then tomorrow morning, temperatures are above freezing, and I think everything is just wet, so we're not looking for a lot of problems with uh, the roads for your Monday morning. Uh, so another kind of breakdown of the precipitation type here. Here's our mix starting this evening, uh, maybe 7, 8, 9 o'clock, and then pushing north from there. We get into the rainy area. Again, our whole viewing area could see rain uh, during the overnight hours tonight. So storm total snowfall, definitely higher amounts up in Michigan, parts of uh, uh, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, where there won't be any mixing. But here, I think a lot of us are, are going to pick up an additional half inch to an inch for a, a total, a storm total, counting what happened last night and this morning, plus what's going to happen, a storm total of somewhere in one to three. Now, could you see four or five in total up here in Trumbull and Mercer? I think that's possible, but I, I think a lot of us are going to be kind of in that storm total of one, two, three inch range. I, I live in Boardman. I have about an inch and a half maybe on the ground right now, inch and a quarter maybe. And, you know, we could see another inch putting us somewhere in that 1 to 3 range before all is said and done. Not looking for a lot of school adjustments tomorrow morning, unfortunately, for kids and teachers who want an extended weekend. Uh, because, again, I think we're going to be above freezing and everything is going to be uh, primarily wet. All right, so that's a quick update for you. Uh, Candace will be in the studio this afternoon and this evening. Meteorologist Candace Monticelli. Follow her on Facebook and on Twitter. And be sure and check out her forecast on 21 News at 6 and 11. Have a great rest of the Sunday. I'll see you back on uh, on the news tomorrow evening at 6.